Hey guys, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews, and now we're going to cover the Walmart Black Friday ad. And by God, is it the biggest ad so far. I mean, that shouldn't shock you, seeing as that Walmart literally has a size building that could swallow almost every other store twice over. They're also Walmart. So, for hardware deals, Walmart has the Xbox One S. It's that everyone else has it at this, 189 PS4 Slim, $1.99. Walmart also didn't put 99 cents or anything like that, so this video is about to be a lot quicker and shorter. However, they do have one hardware deal up now, so you can pick this one up currently online. It's the Xbox One S plus the Master Chief Collection plus Call of Duty World War II and plus an extra controller for $249.99. If I were going to buy an Xbox One S, this is the deal I would buy. Uh, that is by far the best deal out there. I don't care what anyone else is going to offer you, that is a lot of stuff for that price. Controllers are $39, that's no shocker. Best Buy and Target have them at the same. That is for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One controllers. They have the Turtle Beach Recon 50P for $25, and that is all of the editions of the 50P are $25. The PSVR Gran Turismo bundle that comes with the camera and the move accessories and the VR headset, and Gran Turismo if I didn't already say that, is $299. Xbox Live, three month subscription, $12.50. That would be expensive if you bought four of those to buy a year, but if you were looking to buy a year, right now Target has them $10 off for their Black Friday ad, so I'd probably, if you want to buy the year up front, go with Target. The Hori Switch controllers, the Mario and Zelda branded wired controllers that Hori did are on sale for $17 each. I would still recommend going with the Pro Controller. First party controllers are always better than third party, but the Hori controllers, from what I hear, were actually pretty decent. Call of Duty World War II is $43. Best Buy still has that one cheaper, especially if you have Gamers Club. Need for Speed Payback. All these games are $29. We're just going to do this this way. All the games that I am about to list off are $29. Need for Speed Payback, NBA 2K18, Overwatch, Game of the Year Edition, Forza 7, The Evil Within 2, Grand Theft Auto 5, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, Wolfenstein 2. It's a really good game, by the way, Wolfenstein 2. You should pick it up for 30 bucks. Uncharted Lost Legacy. It's another really good game, especially for 30 bucks. Also pretty new. Shadow of War. That's $30. Best Buy or, uh, Best Buy doesn't have it on sale, at least not in their ad. Target and Walmart both have it at the same price. Agent of Mayhem. Or Agents of Mayhem. Persona 5. 30 bucks for Persona 5? Maybe I'll try Persona finally. Fallout 4, Game of the Year Edition, $29. The Sims 4, I don't really know if any of you would be excited about that one. South Park, The Fractured But Whole, FIFA 18, Madden 18, Destiny 2, and Assassin's Creed Origins. So far, Walmart has the longest and biggest amount of sales. Um, they're comparable on most, but there's a lot of things added in their categories of price ranges that the other stores don't have. Final Fantasy 15. Okay, so th this category is all going to be $19. All of these are $19. As I told you, there is a lot of them, and I don't want to keep repeating the price on this one. Final Fantasy 15. $19. Tekken 7. Rainbow Six Siege. It's one of my favorite games. Last year, I picked it up for $15 at Target on Black Friday. No one has it that cheap this year since it went into a year two, and I don't think anyone expected it to keep going the way it has. Ghost Recon Wildlands, Skyrim. That's the remastered edition for Xbox One and PS4. I've left all the 360 backwards compatible games that they have on sale off this list, but they have a whole bunch of them at $9, by the way. We're still in the $19 range. So I just said Skyrim, Horizon Zero Dawn, Fallout 4, Injustice 2, Forza Horizon 3, Resident Evil 7, 
Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 HD. Prey, the new Prey, you know, the one that just came out, not the Xbox 360 one, since I just said I was leaving those off this list. Nio for $19. Halo Wars 2, Gears of War 4, For Honored, Uncharted 4, and Lego Worlds. We're not done. We're, not even, we're, we're like a little past halfway. $12 range. This is all, every game that's $12. Mass Effect Andromeda, I would pick that up for twelve bucks. That's uh, it was a it was an all right game. It just isn't good when you compare it to the others. Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare Two. Who doesn't want to shoot a whole bunch of cactus needles at their enemy? Mortal Kombat X, Titanfall Two, Deadpool, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, Dishonored Two. That is a stellar deal for Dishonored Two, and the only deal I've seen on it that cheap. Mafia 3 for $12, Watch Dogs 2, Just Cause 3, and Batman Arkham Knight. Batman Arkham Knight's really good as well, in case, in case you didn't know. These are the Nintendo deals. Uh, I left off the Wii U games. They do have a couple Wii U games on sale as well, but as we all know, the Wii U is dead and that ship sunk. Pokemon Sun or Moon. $29, that's been pretty universal, so everyone has that one on sale. Or no, it was Alpha Ruby and Sapphire, so Sun and Moon I haven't seen on sale. Mario Maker 3DS, and these are $29 for Mario Maker 3DS. NBA 2K18 for the Switch, $29. Lego Worlds for the Switch, $29. Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS, $29. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild plus a minutes mini strategy guide and maps. $49. Haven't seen that guy on sale yet. Rayman Legends, $19. Mario Sports for the 3DS, $29. And Mario plus Rabbids, which is also another very fun game, $29. That's right. Walmart's ad was completely... Lo like the longest thing I ever thought it was going to be. It took me forever to even write that down. Um, but guys, let me know out of their sales which ones you're looking to pick up and where you think you're going to go for Black Friday so far down in the comments down below. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. We should have GameStop's video coming soon as soon as their ad actually goes live. Walmart actually was the one who posted their own ad. Even though some people tried to say it leaked, it didn't. Walmart posted it. Crazy, I know. So, uh, also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget, <laughs> don't forget to click that subscribe button. Also, if you're feeling extra generous, you can click that little bell. Tis the season, if you want to see more of this face. We're also participating in No Shave November, so if you click the bell, you can watch the hair grow. Um, but guys, thanks for watching. I'll have plenty more content coming for you, and stick around.